You have a giant litter box. Oh, oh, oh. oh get me out of here. There's yeah. something living in there? It's a biological experiment. Oh. I don't really feel like cleaning up that much. This is what you want in your dining room. You need to grow up. Guess we got told. Ooh, Macy's gonna get you. from a cluttered home. We pull it all out, sell it at a yard sale, and then match the proceeds up to $1,000. Now, they don't get to keep that money. We use it for the renovating and decorating. The cleaning, painting, and the organizing is all on us. Now, how do I do all that I do? Oh, no, it's not by myself. There's Trish Sir. She's my yard sale. Eva, my handsome go-to guy, Matt Eyes. And the designer with all the magic, baby, it's Mark Brunet. 20-year-old Patrice Dodd has been playing house. For the past three years, this busy college student has lived in the house she inherited. My mom lived here all her life. When my grandmother passed away 20 years ago, my mom decided to hold on to all her stuff. Then when Patrice was just 16, tragedy struck. About four years ago, my mom passed away. Forced to step into her mother's shoes, Patrice took over 50 years of accumulated furniture, clothes, figurines, and, well, clutter. Patrice. Yes? Have you seen my helmet? A year later, high school sweetheart and fellow college student Jacques Roussel proposed and joined Patrice in a cluttered love nest. You know, if we actually use this room as an office, I think we'd be able to find it, don't you think? Yes, but we gotta uh, clean it first. There was really no room for Jacques when he moved in here. Patrice, I can't put my clothes anywhere. Well, you need to start getting rid of some of these clothes. But a lot of them were my mom's, and I can't get rid of them. You know that. I feel guilty with parting with anything that belonged to my mom because it was my mom's, and then also with my grandmother's stuff as well. And adding to the guilt and chaos is Clutter's number one sidekick. Me and Jacques, we both had mothers who would clean for us. We just haven't learned yet how to pick up after ourselves. What would you expect in a house headed by kids? Jacques is the one who's been throwing the clothes on the floor. I have started throwing my clothes on the floor because I saw Patrice's clothes on the floor. He leaves his food on the dining room table. Patrice is supposed to clean the kitty litter once a week. Since Jacques would like to talk about my cat, let's go and talk about his turtle. <laughs> Jacques, when are you going to clean the turtle's tank? When are you going to pick up your tissues? You know what, I'm just gonna take this upstairs. I can't deal with this right now. So how does living in this disaster area make them feel? The clutter really stresses me out when it's time to study. Patrice, have you seen my psych book? Maybe if you started picking up, you might be able to find it. It makes me just feel uncomfortable, like I just don't wanna be here. The frustration is really intense because I constantly step on things. If Patrice and Jacques can't clean up, clear out and grow up, their chance at a future together might blow up. I told you about this hairball. I'm not picking that up. We need clean house because it's time for me and Jacques to begin our life together. It's time for us to move on. It's just time. Hey, hey. welcome to it. Ooh. All right, Patrice and Jacques live here. Mm -hmm. Hi. Some of the clutter that they have is inherited. Oh. The rest, it's just foolishness. Okay. You ready? No. <laughs> Stop laughing. We're going in. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. How, How are, are you? you? I'm Patrice. And I'm Jacques. We've been expecting you. Come on in. Uh, uh, <laughs> gonna face our fears head on, apparently. <laughs> We're going in. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, yeah. This is our dining room. Did someone just have breakfast? Uh, a couple Lunch, of weeks dinner. ago. And what? Oh. Yeah. There. Suddenly, I lost my appetite. I love that we're worried about nasty, funky food when there is a nasty, funky... I don't know what that is. That's a biological experiment. Yeah, that is actually Jock's turtle tank, which he doesn't clean. There's yeah. something living in there? Yes, actually, he's still there. Are you sure it's living, baby? Yeah, it's still living. I'm really nervous about cleaning it. He might die. Uh, what? I feel that if it's not broke, don't fix it, because Turkey the Turtle is happy. You see what this is? I just threw over my shoulder. Your excuse. All right. 
You should not be in charge of an animal. Well, how long has it been like this? For about all my life. I grew up in the house. It was inherited by my mom 18 years ago, and I've been living here ever since. Cut to the chase, was it filthy? Because this on this table is filthy. No, it wasn't filthy, it was just a little dirty. So you brought your own foolishness with the filth it, of it all. And part of his foolishness, yes. Yeah, I just tagged along. Oh, whoa, Fell whoa, 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 whoa. Right. No, honey, dear, sweetie. Uh-oh. We were both clutter freaks. So don't just pinpoint it on me. But clutter and clean are two different things. Yeah. So how about that, honey, dear, sweetie? Well, what would your mother say about how you're living? She would probably beat my ass. <gasps> mm -hmm. If I was Patrice's mama, I would too. And his too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, guess who can stand in the gap for that? Uh, yeah, I said it, <laughs> me. What is going on with these two? I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. So we got two babies that need to grow up real quick. Ah, uh, yes. yes. In here just playing house like you good and grown. Yeah. Yes. Well, maybe you're just waiting for Black Santa Claus to pick up after you. Hey, mm -hmm. don't talk about the Black Santa now. Ho, ho, ho. Why do you have a Santa right in the middle of your dining room? I love Christmas. She likes to keep Christmas ornaments up for at least two months past the Christmas season. What? Not even Trish likes Christmas that much. I love Christmas as much as the next girl, but I know when Santa has to be put away. Is there anything in here that you guys like? I mean, I see a table, a sideboard, a china cabinet, a lot of buffet. This looks like an old media, like, oh, oh. a TV, so. I personally think that the furniture is too bulky and too big for this room. I love wood. I feel the same way, and this bulky furniture constantly hitting my foot on it. Yeah. I called you guys because I'm tired of living like this. I want this to be our dining room. I want to be able to eat here. And you seem like you're doing a pretty good job of eating here. It's just the picking up here. Hey! Yeah. The picking up. Oh, yes. Taking that long, long trip to the trash can is so just exhausting. This is what I know for sure, that there's more to be seen. There is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can I invite Matt and Trish to go get a lay of the land? Just be careful. There's a whole lot more. Yeah. OK, so you've been pretty clear about what you don't want. Who are you two today? More modern. The walls, for instance, I hate the white walls. I'd like more like earth tone, kind of soft color, very neutral. OK. And you're on board? Same way, yes. Yes? I like something simple. Clean lines, earth tones, you love wood, I got all that. But you want it to be minimal. Minimal. Hopefully Mark can add a little bit of pizzazz into our dining room because that's exactly what we need. That's easy. It's just a far cry from what's here. Are you prepared to take us to see the rest of it? <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. What are you more scared of, the smell or the way it looks? Yeah, that cat litter can be a little funky at times. That's why I don't take it out every day. What's with the poop? I have a 13-year-old cat. Yeah, I don't necessarily clean it every day like I should. I'm wondering how fast we can get out of this room. Why? I don't have time to. Uh <coughs> oh, my full of bull detector is going off. Ding, 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 ding. Let's talk about the foolishness of it all, because I'm about to get a headache from that. This was supposed to be my mom's office, but it turned into her storage room. And then when I inherited the house, it also turned into my storage room. So you added on top of the stuff your mother had in here. I did. Right. And Do then... you have stuff in here, too? No, I don't, because of that cat poop. Hello? What year is it? 1987. <gasps> Can I ask, in a perfect world, what's really supposed to be going on in here? I want this to act as an office or a study nook for both me and Jock. It's very frustrating to not have a place to study in this house. I would like to have a seating area for both me and him. I'd also like to have a computer in here, because as of right now, I'm sharing his laptop. So a traditional office space for two. Yes. yes. OK, contemporary in style, but traditional in layout. Right. You know what I appreciate about you? is your vision. I love the fact that you have big dreams going on up here and a giant litter box going on right out here. Is there more to see? 
Because I'm tired of holding my breath right now. Take me to it. Okay, let's go. Hey, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I thought there was something moving in here, so I was just protecting myself. Is this supposed to be romantic? You just sleep and watch TV. <laughs> you, you guys are actually sleeping in this room, because I thought it had been dormant for like 40 years. Yeah, it would seem that way. This actually was my mom's room, and it was also my grandmother's room. So when they passed away, it came to me, <laughs> including like the furniture that's in here. This is all my grandmother's. So is there anything in here that's yours? Our mattress. Our Just mattress. the mattress. Our mattress. Oh, sign me up. I, I want my mom's bed. You all are not married. But we're engaged. Yay. When are you getting married? After I get out of school, which is in about two more years. OK, wow. can we talk the clothes? The what, what's going on? You got clothes all under here, all under the bed, stuffed under the dresser, hanging out of the dresser. We don't really have any place to put our dirty laundry, so therefore it gets mixed with our clean laundry and it whoa, ends whoa, up on whoa. the bowl. These two are two peas in a cluttered pod. Is all this laundry I'm looking at considered the dirty laundry? Both, Both clean and dirty and... How come you don't pick up your clothes? Because he doesn't pick up his clothes. And how come you don't pick up your clothes? Because she don't pick up her clothes. Ah. Uh, Y'all right sound like brother and sister instead of about to be husband and wife. Ooh, Nisi's gonna get you. You could have easily bought a hamper to put the dirty clothes in. We did buy a hamper, but it actually broke. When the hamper breaks, baby, buy another one. What's in the closet? Oh, of course, my shoes and my clothes and some of Jock's items, but... Yeah, two nails full, that's it. That closet is a disgrace. A disgrace! What does this room feel like and how would it function? Just a place to come relax and watch movies. Honey, did you hear what you just said? Uh, what happened? If you got time to watch a movie, you got time to clean up. I wonder if they would watch a movie about doing laundry. When I get home from school, I don't really feel like cleaning up that much. Welcome to being a wife. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of learning that now. Mm. There is always time to clean. Are you kidding me? Oh, God, someone has their hands full. I love that you looked at me when you said that. <laughs> See, our fairy godmother, of course. What, yeah. You know, I, I will receive that from you. But I think I'm going to be an altogether different type. A fairy godmother. No pumpkin, no coach, no crown. But guess what I do have? What do you have? Some tough love. See, and guess like when that. you're going to get it? Right now? Boom, that way. This is one fairy godmother who's about to drop the hammer. I guess we got told, come on. <laughs> Up next, I help Patrice turn the page on her past. At some point, mama's baby's got to grow up. And later, will Jacques send Black Santa back to the North Pole? This is what you want in your dining room. This. 365 days a year. Yeah. Nice. Well, why don't we just try to find stuff that's A, not filthy, B, covered in biological hazard, and C, maybe helps a young couple starting over? Wow. Someone turned over a new leaf. <laughs> What is your observation of how she's been affected by her mother's death? In the beginning, she was really devastated. She's getting better, and she's been focusing on school. And unfortunately, we've been dropping the ball in the house. Do you see a connection with how you started to live on the other side of that? I just stopped caring. And when it came to cleaning the house, I couldn't do it. It's unfortunate that you were thrust into this position at a young age, but at some point, mama's baby's got to grow up. Yeah, she would want that. What would your mother want for you? For me to move on and not necessarily hold on to everything, I need to learn to let go. My mom's not here, and these things aren't gonna bring her back, so I definitely need to let go. What does growing up look like to you? It's maintaining a house and just overall being responsible. It's time to move on, babe. Yeah, mm -hmm. Well, not only move on, but grow up. Mm -hmm. This one thing to turn the corner on the past, and then it's a completely other thing to be responsible for your present and how you're living.
You have to also, in growing up, get a plan in place. That means somebody has got to clean up. Somebody has got to fold and wash clothes. Bathroom needs to be tended. Floors need to be mopped. It's a very tall order. But I believe the two of you can do it if you're both committed to doing it. Are you both committed to doing it? Yes. Yes. What Nisi is saying is making a lot of sense. First thing I want you to do is commit to journaling. Okay. Just to talk about with yourself, your emotions, and how you're feeling. And if any point in that you want to share it with Jacques, I think you should. But I think that's going to be important for you. Second thing I want you to do, when you guys are able to go to the hotel, figure out how we're going to come home and maintain our home. Get you a chart of responsibilities and who's going to do what. Huh? And be committed to that. I believe if the schedule is made, I would be able to stick to it. <sighs> What I'm giving you is some common sense and practical application to make your life better. Do you know when all of the process of this all is going to start? Right now? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> right now. I am hopeful that these two will grow up before my very eyes. Oh. Hey. Oh. Okay. Uh, come here. Yes. I was going through the bedroom and I actually braved going into that closet and I found a remarkable collection of hats. Everywhere I look, there's more. Those are my grandmother's hats. Well, well what's the story behind them? Well, she was a very church going person and uh -huh. she always looked fantastic with her hats. Every picture that I've seen my grandmother and she's always had on a church hat. I'm looking at the way these hats have been stored and treated and, and it looks like they haven't been treated as though they mean a lot to you. I, they do. I just, I just have no place to put them. You realize why you have no place to put them? Because, no. Because you hold on to a lot of stuff. Okay, one or two hats is reasonable. 27, a little excessive. So I'm thinking this is something that we could put out in the yard sale to start paring down all this stuff that's weighing you and Jock down. Can I at least keep maybe one or two? Well, absolutely. Okay. So all the rest of the hats can go into the yard sale. You've got your memories of your grandma, and now this is the way to remember. Okay. You can have the hats as long as I can keep two. I'll just keep the pink one and this one. The pink one, and you're going to keep little Richard's hair. Hey! How are you? <laughs> how am I? Are you even curious as to how I managed to get over here? Yeah, how did you get over here? Leaps and bounds, my friend. <laughs> um, just prior to almost throwing up over the cat poop, mm -hmm. I noticed that there were two chairs. That's actually a sectional sofa. Oh, oh my God, it's really a sofa underneath all this? Needless to say that we will be selling that at the yard sale. Don't you need to ask first? Okay, okay. I'll ask politely. Can we sell it at the yard sale? I'm gonna have to say no because that was my mom's favorite sofa. Mark, you are not taking my mama's sofa. Jock, come in here, buddy. Listen, I got the sense that Patrice was really a holiday freak, but I want to get the story from you. What's the story with Black Santa? Black Santa's a cool guy. He just stays here. So he stays here year round. Yeah. Me and Santa have a close bond together. I want to honor the love you have for your mom, but I want to do it respectfully. Do you know what that means? that I can't just hold on to the stuff just because it belonged to her. I need to make room for myself. Yes, very and good. Jacques. <laughs> because that's what she would want for you. Yeah. The other side of that coin is that you respect your space. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe we let this guy go out to the yard sale and you guys start over with the dining room fit for adults. We can't let him go. You can't let him go, why? Well, I mean, you saw him when you walked in. Everybody sees him. That's a good topic. I do, but like, well, it's a good topic of conversation, but you guys are becoming adults. Matt, there's no way you're getting my Santa Claus. You know who's not going to be feeling the holiday spirit? You and your wife. When you see Black Santa in your finished room. So, how about we do a fresh start? Fresh start as long as something can replace it comfortably. You feel this is what you want in your dining room? Yes. 365 days a year. Yes. That's what you're saying. For uh, sure. For sure, for sure. I want my son. I'm shocked, but I tell you who's going to be more shocked? Mark. You know what? It's your holiday, bro. Let's talk about that fresh start. What would that look like for you? 
Maybe something more leather or something that doesn't attract cat hair. Okay, so can we put the sofa out to the yard sale? Up next, Patrice digs in her heels over Grandma's figurines. You've got some serious big ticket items here. Uh, Trish, I'm gonna have to say no. And later, my team tries to spark up sales <laughs> in the middle of a downpour. student Patrice Dodd was drowning under two generations of clutter after her mother passed away when she was just 16. Here, I'll just put it here right now. Then, fiancé Jacques Rousseau moved in, and they've played a messy game of house ever since. Patrice, I can't put my clothes anywhere. We well, need to start getting rid of some of these clothes. Their inability to clean couple Far, Patrice has offered up all but two of her grandmother's church hats. I'll just keep the pink one and this one. The pink one, and you're going to keep Little Richard's hair. But then Jock accessed his inner Grinch and wouldn't give up his year-round Santa. Do you feel this is what you want in your dining room? Yes. yes. That's what you're saying, for right. sure. And it looks like Patrice is holding tight to her mother's sectional. Okay, so can we put the sofa out to the yard sale? Yes, Mark, we can put the sofa at the yard sale. It would be nice to be out with the old and in with the new. So we have a deal? Yes. Yeah. No, no, I was hoping you'd actually pull me over. Oh, oh, oh my God. no, I'm falling over the poop. Oh. No. <laughs> Paul, get me out of here. I can let the sofa go because we actually need more room in that office. Hey, Patrice. Hi, Trish. Hi, How are you? girl. Come talk to me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes, Trish? What are we looking at here? Because there's some nice hidden treasures. You are looking at my grandmother's china dolls. Do you use them? Do you plan on using them? Hopefully in the future I can use them. Because see, that's what I was thinking. In the future, see? In the I future. can use them. What kind of future? Well, the early and near future, meaning the yard sale. Because I'll tell you, you've got some serious big ticket items here. Uh, Trish, I'm gonna have to say no. Sorry, Trish, you can't have them. Why no? Because they belong to my grandmother. Don't pull the grandma card with me. And now they belong to me, but they are still my grandmother's. In a cabinet that you so love and care for. <laughs> nice, yeah, nice one. But the answer is still no. Why still no? Because they're very sentimental to me. I can't just get rid of something that belonged to her. Those were her precious china. Now in my world would be the perfect time for Nisi to show up. Wait for it. These technically, I mean, when we look at it, this really Hi, is... lady. Oh! Hi. Yay. Trish, you're bringing in the big guns now? Patrice was just explaining to me how much she loves her grandmother's figurines, china, and belongings. Exactly and that she absolutely will not part with them for the yard sale. Absolutely not. Whoa. <laughs> All so, right, you, now you're giving me the serious <laughs> face. Like, do not even try it, Miss Niecy Nash. Okay, I'm listening. Here's the thing. You need to grow up. Moving forward, the goal is to one day be a wife. Yeah. And you want to make sure that as a wife, you keep your bedroom very presentable for your husband. Ooh. And right now it's a hot mess. Yeah, well, that's a nice way to say it. Yes, hey, ma'am. Uh -huh. Hey. So to get you started off on the right foot in that area, perhaps bedroom furniture. <laughs> Wait, you're going to give bedroom furniture for the all, all, all the figurines? But they are still my grandmother's. All but three. I love that, and that's completely fair. What, is she thinking about this? It's new bedroom furniture. Hello? Okay, you can have them. I can have what? You can have the china figurines, all but three. In exchange for bedroom furniture, yes! No! <laughs> wow. You got a little too excited about that. Of course, bedroom furniture, bye. She changed her mind quick. Bedroom furniture, do that. Nisi, you had me a bedroom furniture. See, I'm growing up, Godmother. I'm gonna take my fairy godmotherness and go work my wand somewhere else. You ladies, carry on.
Ding! Now that that's settled, Patrice and Jacques can turn their attention to clearing out the clutter of years past. I don't want to see this stuff. Yeah, just take the bag. I don't want to see it. Removing my mother's clothing, that was by far one of the hardest things I had to do. This is the last dress my mom wore. Somebody else will like it. You just have to give rid of it and just hope that it goes to a good home. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, bye. Yard sale diva. Hey, girl. Are you chatting it up or are you working? No, I am working. I just sealed the deal. Patrice offered up her church, and we're going to do it in the parking lot instead of this yard, which I'll take any day for generational clutter. I love it. Thank you. Divine intervention. Yes. We need that. Boom. With that, my team packs up Patrice and Jacques Squares and heads to the yard sale venue. The forecast calls for rain. But lucky us, morning comes and the sun is shining. Well, mostly. The yard sounds are open. Come on through. All right, people, you know what it is. It's yard sale day. We pried everything we could away from Patrice and Jacques. And when we opened up this morning, it was good and sunny. Now a storm has rolled on in, but we still have to go peddle their wares. So with that said, mother's going in. Well, let's see. I love any kind of woman who loves a hamper. Okay. <laughs> Are you a flapper? What are we doing? Back in the 20s, huh? Hello, my baby. Uh, just this or this and a half? This is my hat. Oh, it doesn't look like you got it at a yard sale. No. So I'm going to sell it to you cheap. Okay. Three bucks. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay, you, woo! Okay, okay. And you got a hundred? Spend. How about we do two dollars for the uh, scarf? All right. So one <laughs> old paper cutter. Well, give me a little dance routine with it. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Thank you so much. Oh, my favorite thing in the world. Little animals made of beans. Will you do $4 for everything? Where's your banker? Right there. That's banker. Running the other way. Okay. Y'all gonna walk to the cashier right over there on the side, okay? Thank you, baby. Precious. The yard sale is hopping. That is until Mother Nature rudely interrupts. There's nothing like a biblical downpour to bring a yard sale to a near standstill. Well, we don't have a lot of great stuff to sell, but at least it's raining, so there's nobody here. How about vote for 100? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you okay, you're right. in it. Okay, think, think about it. This is close. Anybody need a figurine? Anybody? We're screwed. Party people. Bring it in here. <laughs> What's up, Nash? I would love to know how much it's going to take to transform the house for Patrice and Jacques. A lot. Well, before you tell me what a lot is, let me state for the record that I gifted bedroom furniture. Wow. You mean the entire bedroom set? That is exactly what I mean. That's pretty generous. Uh -huh. well, I am the fairy godmother. Okay. Then we need $3,000. What? It's raining. We got funky old furniture. Come on, you guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you get any more Southern, don't worry. We've got a fairy godmother. Yes, and, and I will sprinkle you with some sort of magic potion. Okay. Oh, wait. That's the wrong oh, potion. Oh, my God. <laughs> Somebody's working some kind of magic because suddenly the yard sale has a stream of customers. People are out shopping. I don't understand it, but I'll take it. Sales of Grandma's church hats are brisk. Thank you. Trish seems to be moving the china figurines. You can take that right over to the cashier, okay? And Mark has found takers for some of Patrice's mother's clothes. Hat, pantyhose, 25 bucks, and a smile on this man's face. I like it. Can we do 17? Okay. Oh, 17, yeah. But the sectional has gone unnoticed. If we don't hurry up and make some big ticket sales, we could still find ourselves underwater. So, so Patrice and Jacques surprise everyone and reel in a few last minute sales. So China set. Thank you guys. Whoa, that was close. Cause the charity truck is here to take the rest of Patrice's inherited clutter away including mom's old sectional. These are some things that I know you loved and were holding on to. I am, or I was, but I'm a big girl. I can let go now. <gasps> Somebody had their big girl pill. I did. Growing up right before my very eyes. All right, you two, we have gathered to find out how much money we made at your yard sale. Shh. 
How much money do you think we needed? Maybe about 2000 3000 Oh! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you think we made it? I hope we're close. Well, I'm going to match up to the first thousand, but the only one who knows whether or not we reach the number is the yard sale diva. There we go. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Despite the weather and everything else, <clears throat> we made... You got a little bit of homework to do. We don't. And we'll see you in a little bit. Thanks. Thank you. Carry on. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Enjoy Bye. the hotel. Bye. 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 You all did a fantastic job, but you do know what pushed us over, don't you? What? what? Fairy Godmother potion of it all. Well, you know what? I'm actually still feeling. Oh, no, I'm leaving. Take okay. the money. Okay. I'm leaving. Singular plan. I'm going to shop. And I need you to do just two quick closets. Quick ones. Okay. You know what? I'm still kind of feeling that magic potion. <laughs> While Mark goes shopping, Patrice and Joff check in. I thought they could handle. Good luck. This whole house is falling apart. And even as the house is falling down, our young lovebirds focus on growing up. I'm glad we're moving forward. Yeah, it's all part of the process, you know, like me giving up my my mother's couch. At the end of it all, I'm happy I did. Now we can move on as Jacques and Patrice. Oh, but what about their pet turtle turkey? Well, I, I got a bit of a turtle situation. We were playing house in the beginning, and now I'm going to see the house as a home. I'm going to take my time out to also clean up the house and be a happy couple, right? <laughs> While my team turns their house into a home, Patrice and Jacques get busy on their homework. I thought it was a good idea for us to be able to sit down with each other and figure out what chores we were going to do in the house. I could do laundry between one and three or one and four. Okay. I'm going to definitely clean up the kitty litter at least once a week. I guess before I go to school, I could try to maybe wash dishes or load the dishwasher. Load the dishwasher. And we did decide that Jacques was going to maintain his turtle tank. As a reward, on Friday nights we might go out to dinner, but if we're not keeping up with the schedule, that'll be time to catch up for that week. No more cluttered houses. If not, Nisi, Nisi's gonna be all over us. Say what a kiss. Aw, oh, sweet love. But with just hours to go, my team's got to get their getting to going. How you doing? Good. How was the hotel? Great, thank you. Very good, thank you. How did we do with the homework, you two? We did it all. We all did of it, all. it. Good. Are y'all ready to see something? I'm ready. Put these on. And I hope you still think I'm your fairy godmother after this. <laughs> all right, you two, I would love for each of you to give me one word that describes your dining room before. Horrible. It's disgusting. Thanks to the clean house team, it is not that anymore. Patrice and Jacques, take off your blindfolds and look at your new dining room. <gasps> wow. If you want to be on Clean House or go to a Clean House yard sale, honey, log on to mystyle.com. Patrice and Jacques, Take off your blindfolds and look at your new dining room. <gasps> wow. <laughs> look at that table. Oh it's God, beautiful. Look at the candles. Wow. Look at the curtains. They're all beautiful. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, and look at the painting over there. And look at my grandmother's china. Wow. You guys did it. You guys did it. You guys too. did a wonderful job. Thank you so much. As you know, when we showed up, it was really your mom and your grandmother's house. So the first thing we did was 
cleared all that out <laughs> and started fresh. But Beautiful. I have to say, most of the money was spent in this room with the server, the china cabinet, and the table. But it's just earth tone, clean, fresh, young, exactly the way you two are. Yes, it's a far cry from who Patrice and Jacques used to be, but it's right on target for who they are today. Speaking of clean and fresh. <laughs> I know! <laughs> we've seen a lot of bad carpet. This was some of the worst. But we got it up, cleaned up the floors, and they look fantastic. Beautiful. Thank you. Now, this is a dining room fit for adults. Not at all. What do you think your mom would think of this room now? I think she'd be happy. It's... <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's it. These are tears of joy? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. I remember so many wonderful memories with my mom in the dining room, and now I can make fond memories with Jacques in our new dining room. Can the two of you stand to see more? We can. We can. Blindfolds on and let's get to get. When I came into your office before, not only was it a hot mess, but baby, the smell in here. <laughs> you had a lot going on. Do you all agree? Yeah. Agreed. Well, you got something going on in here now. Uh oh. Take off your blindfolds and look at your office. <laughs> wow. The first thing I noticed in the office is no cat smell at all. I was so excited to go into the office and not have to hold my breath. Oh! Beautiful. Stink free. Yes. Thank you. Him. We are changing people's lives one clean litter box at a time. Oh my gosh, and look at this chair. Tables. And look at these. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous, this aren't is so they? So nice. And look at look at Turkey. Turkey the turtle. He's swimming. <laughs> He's swimming. He's happy. <laughs> you know who loves this makeover? Turtle. My favorite part of the office is Turkey's environment. I mean, he's happy, he's clean. Go take a look-see over in that closet and then come back and let's chat. Okay. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Santa! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Santa! Santa in the office closet is the perfect place. This is great. Oh, my god. We can find our books. And look at the little storage bins. And oh, my gosh, this is wonderful. These two were so excited about organization probably because they've never seen it up close. So Patrice, do you miss your mom's sectional? It was, it was hard to see it go, but I mean, I'm looking at all of this and it was worth it. Worth it. It definitely wouldn't have fit in this space. This is perfect the way it is, perfect. So because you all did so well at the yard sale, that's why you see a little something on each one of these desks so that at the same time, Those are all you all can get your studying in. Those are all <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Patrice, that is your computer. <laughs> Look at my mom, she's smiling. <laughs> I'm so crying again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> These are happy tears. This is home now. This is definitely our home. This is home. Our home. Can the two of you stand to see more? I think so. Yes, sir. When we came into this master bedroom before you two, <laughs> mayhem and foolishness was all around. And now, take off your blindfolds and see for yourself. <gasps> wow. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Are they in the same room? <laughs> yes, Patrice, this is your house. This oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Look at the bed. Oh my gosh. Look at the armor. Oh, this is beautiful. You guys are great. Look at the dresser. You guys did it. This is amazing. This is perfect. I really wanted to make it a space that every time you walked in, you felt like it was yours. We brought in this fantastic furniture from Somerton Home Furnishings, which is contemporary and honors the wood grains and the tones that you love with a very clean color palette. When I saw the gorgeous bedroom furniture that I gifted Patrice and Jacques, mm, I wanted to be my own fairy godmother. Are you sure this is the same room? <laughs> Are you sure you're gonna keep it looking like this? Yeah. I, I love everything about the bedroom. I wouldn't change a thing. 
I love it when a woman squeals over a closet. Oh, <laughs> oh my lord. Look, and there's room for you down here. And there's room for me in the shoe kind of place. The there's shoe. also two hampers in there. <laughs> there are. Do they know what they're for? Come on over here and tell me your thoughts. <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> I love that there's room in the closet for both of us now. You let go of your grandmother's church hats, Patrice, all but two. Yeah. So do you regret letting him go? Not at all. Do you know what happens now? What happens now? We leave you here to enjoy it. Thank you, all of you guys. Thank you. All right, you make me proud here. Yes. And <laughs> did y'all see it? My fairy dust goes a long way. Basically. Enjoy. Enjoy. I think my mother and my grandmother are looking down in heaven and they're smiling at us. Great job, people. Thank you. Well, our work here is finished and we did exactly what we came to do and then some. For Patrice and Jacques, we not only cleaned house, we gave these two a fresh start. When we showed up, these kids were living in the shadow and the clutter of their family's past. Well, thanks to their fairy godmother and her crew, they are now able to write their own happy ending. So, I know exactly what you're thinking. Ooh, Miss Neesey, when can you come be my fairy godmother? The dust is only sprinkled one fabulous family at a time. <laughs> this is your desk, and this is mine, right here. Very in the well, that's beautiful. Nice, comfortable chairs. I know, and they kept beautiful this picture. Candle. They did keep that picture. They kept the picture and just fill this wood, isn't it nice? It's amazing. Oh my gosh. It's our fresh start, Patrice. It is. <laughs> this is the most wonderful experience I've ever been through. Thank, Thank you, you Clean, clean house. house.